you're doing perfect. That's the way you do it, just slow and easy. It's right where, under where my lure is, right here, look. Okay, B, hold it high and then ease down in there. There he goes, you got him. Good job. Oh boy, you got a little baby that time. Small fry. <laughs> This is Tommy Tidwell. Good job, good job. That's a female. See, these are females out in here. He's a part-time fishing guy. You couldn't have caught the only one in there. Oh, did I? I hope nobody catches me working. He's Wally Marshall. I'm supposed to be fishing, right? Wally used to be a fishing guy. Built Ford Tough, Bass Pro Shops. Trying to get these sponsored banners out, John. He has something right there. This is the story of two guys with one thing in common. Well, it's a black crappie. They both mm. love crappie. Man, that's a hog right there. Yeah. This is the best right class ever. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> when he's not out on a boat, Tommy is here in the classroom teaching ninth grade biology. Okay, everybody, time to listen up. Today, his class is studying the internal organs of animals by dissecting freshly caught crappie. Cut, cut some more of this. Go this way and cut some more of that out where you can see some more in there. Oh, man. Oh, I just square. I didn't mean to hit you right there. That's the key thing, you know, to let them get hands on and see what everything looks like. Look, there's his heart right there. Look how tiny that heart is compared to his body. In the past, Tommy has bought preserved fish but it turns out they're nowhere near as good for dissecting as the fresh ones he catches. Uh. Big female there, see? That's the kind we're looking for right there. Uh. See where it's hollow in there? Look, yeah. they really like doing this. I mean, kids that sometimes don't do much the rest of the year, when we get into dissecting, they get real excited about it. Hey, hey, look here, guys. Here's a parasite. Who's got some tweezers? Here you go. Is he moving? Ooh, yeah, hard. he's moving. Look, guys, this parasite is still moving. Ew. Get him, Garrett. Come on, you got your good one. There you go. Good job. <laughs> First five seconds. Today, Tommy is still teaching only this time, it's in an outdoor classroom. He's already turning back white. After they spawn, they'll all turn the same color. They're on a lake. No textbooks, no quizzes or exams. There you go. You got your one. Just an enthusiastic neighborhood kid <laughs> named Garrett. You scared me half to death. <laughs> Can you get him off? Yeah. Uh, that was easy. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Oh, there you go. Two at a time. Look at there. There's one. There you go, Garrett. <laughs> Get him, Garrett. Oh, crap. Oh, you missed him. Oh, that's a good one. It's a catfish. Get in here and check something here. See those sticks right there, Garrett? When I get up there, you drop it right down in those sticks. There you go. Perfect. Now be ready. He'll get it. Crappie is a good fish to start kids out on, too, because you can catch a lot of them, and the fish, even small ones, they're fun to catch. Good job, good job. Cool. I could have lost him. Did you reel? No. Don't reel. They were building the lake at the time we were kids, and you know, every weekend we were out here camped out. Our parents, they didn't worry where we were at. Get him. Naughty fishy. <laughs> they knew where we were out here on the lake fishing and camping. There's a good tree right there. Be ready. I can take a lot of husbands and take their wives out here, and I tell them, put their wife next to me, and I'll make sure she can catch more fish than you do. <laughs> and a lot of the husbands, they're happy. When, when the wife's happy, the husband's happy. First of all, about that name. It may read like crappy, but you'd be wrong. It's actually pronounced crappy. Crappy comes from the word crepe, a French pancake that's flat, just like the fish. It's also the third most popular catch in Texas, just behind largemouth bass and catfish. 
And like many other sport fish, crappie doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Biologists like Greg Binion very carefully monitor the species. White crappie. What we're recording right now. 255. Is length. 47. And we're also getting a weight in grams. We can compare that year to year and get an idea if the population may have increased since the last survey or it's actually declined in abundance. Black crappie, 251. Are they good eating fish? Excellent. In my opinion, one of the best freshwater fish to eat. So thanks to folks like Greg, we have enough of these tasty fillets to go around. It's gonna be a beautiful morning, you know, it's rained all last night, yeah. so I think I'm gonna leave a little opening. <laughs> Where's that coffee pot at? Where's your blade at? It's something you gotta do, man. Biggest fish of the tournament, what's your guess? About two and a half. That's right. Two and a half pounds. Drop your fish right in here, buddy. This is the Mr. Crappie Big Crappie Classic. All right, young man, what's your name? It's a once a year, everybody wins, family-friendly fishing tournament. I don't have a boat, I don't know where to go. Okay, you're gonna fish from the bank. You wanna fish from the shore? Yes, sir. There's a walkway that goes out. And this is Mr. Crappie himself. And so just cast out past it and just do a slow retrieve, okay? He's also known as Wally Marshall. Just work that bank line right there and you'll catch some fish. All right, thank you, Mr. Marshall. Hey, thank you, buddy. Hey, catch a big one. I will. All right. Wally adopted the Mr. Crappie moniker back in 1996 and went on to make a name for himself with a complete line of Mr. Crappie products. Why do I do this? It's because I like to see families spending time on the water Catching fish, having a great time. We just getting cranked up. There comes a family right there. Fish. Families like the Russells. <laughs> There's Robert, his brother, Kenneth. OK, Dad, you ready? And their three kids. Let me see them in a They fished this tournament since they were tadpoles. That is one big fish. <laughs> She's Alexis. <laughs> He's Weldon. And this. Oh, Quoppy! Quoppy! Is Cody. Oh. I got it away. I said, you ready to go fishing? And they're like, let's go. I almost caught that big one. Anytime they can go fishing, they're happy. Bring them up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. It's heavy. <laughs> She's a fishing fool. Whoa, big fish, big fish. Oh, he got off again. Oh, me. Mom said it was too early to get up, so she didn't come out. <laughs> There's a fish. Really? Really? Oh, all right. Oh, stop. <laughs> Good grief. Hold this one. This is the greatest fishing partner in the world. Same thing my dad did with me and the same thing he did with my brother. He uh, took us fishing. That was the best time when we went out with him. <laughs> Wearing them out. <laughs> we got a lot of fish. Did you get one, Cody? Fish! Okay, fish. I got one. Finally, Cody gets a fish. There you go. Yeah. And all is right with the world. Aw, good job, Cody. I want to commend you today for bringing the children out to the tournament. Cody Russell, put him in there, buddy. Woo, he's a live one. It doesn't really matter if you're a showman like Wally Marshall. 1.05, way to go, young man. Or if you're more of a teacher and mentor. Come on, Garrett. Like Tommy Tidwell. He's black, too. See, that's a little male. Looks like he's about 10 inches. All right, brother. When you have a love and a passion for something, you just really want to share it. It's just the thrill to see families out on the lake. There you go. The fish is a bonus, actually. But spending time in the outdoors is really what it's all about. You came untied. I'm sorry, buddy. It's OK. I did it happen. <laughs>